Hi friends, our next live session is called the Overview of AA Algorithms and this live session is at 10 a.m. on the 29th of March which is the coming Sunday and this is available to everyone on YouTube. So this is accessible both to our registered students and other students across, across the internet, right? So the objective of this whole live session is to give a broad overview of the whole area of AI. Again, we cannot dive deep and discuss lots of details in a two hour session. Again, we'll try to do a roughly two hour session. And what we intend to do is to give you a 10,000 feet view of the whole of AI, right? So this is like a high level view where you're trying to explain lot of broad view of AI itself. What are all the sub parts? How do they connect to real world applications and things like that? And again, we'll try to give you this overview using both toy examples and some real world examples so that the big puzzle of lot of techniques which are there in AI is much better understood by you, right? So now again, let's see, let's see. We'll start with data analysis here and within data analysis, we'll cover what is the need for plotting, right? Why do we need to study probability and statistics? What is the purpose of linear algebra? And what does dimensionality reduction techniques themselves do for us to better understand the data, right? So we'll first understand some basic, again, we will not be able to dive deep and go into details of probability, statistics or the mathematics behind it. But I'll try to give you a good high level overview so that you know where everything fits into this big puzzle of AI, right? So then we'll go into classical classification techniques. This is pre deep learning techniques, right? So I'll give you an intuitive understanding of logistic regression, support vector machines, decision trees, random forests, GBDTs, etc. I'll try to give as many examples and I'll try to explain these concepts using simple diagrams while connecting them also with very easy to understand real world examples, simple examples. Of course, along with classical classification, we'll also learn classical regression techniques, machine learning regression techniques, which are pre deep learning techniques like linear regression, support vector regression, random forest based regression, GBDT based regression, etc. Now after this, we'll also dive into the clustering techniques. What is the purpose of clustering? Where does it actually where is it actually used in the real world? And I'll touch upon the intuition behind a couple of techniques. Right. So then the big chunk will try to spend a lot of time on deep learning, trying to give you a broad overview of deep learning itself. We'll start with what multi-layered perceptrons are, why do we need CNNs, where are they applicable? Again, there are hundreds of types of convolutional neural networks, but I'll give you an intuitive explanation of a couple of real world examples where CNNs or special types of CNNs are used. Similarly, we'll discuss about recurrent neural networks, where are they used? And in which context should RNNs be used? Again, I'll give you a little intuition about attention models and why they've become very popular recently. I'll also give you some understanding of autoencoders, GANs. Again, I'll try to cover as much as possible in deep learning. But again, all this will be at a high level overview. I'll try to give intuitive understanding without diving too deep into the mathematics of it. Right? Again, I'll also touch upon reinforcement learning, trying to give you an understanding on where reinforcement learning fits into this broader picture of machine learning and AI, especially in the context of robotics and playing games like AlphaGo and things like that, right? So again, please understand that this live session is not a dive deep, okay? I'll try to give you a broad picture so that students who are both in the early sections of the course, later sections of the course, people with basic knowledge of machine learning, advanced knowledge of machine learning can all benefit trying to get this big picture view of all the techniques, where they fit in, where are they mostly applied today. And even people who are in the earlier sections of the course or people who know basics of machine learning can still benefit by getting an intuitive understanding of this big puzzle of AI algorithms, right? So it'll be a broad overview and not a dive deep. So see you all this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. on YouTube. If you have friends whom you think will benefit from this during this lockdown, please share it with them so that they can also watch it for a, watch it for a couple of hours. And again, we'll I'll take questions on the live chat of YouTube itself. I'll try to answer as many as possible. Again, it's impractical to assume that I can answer all the, un all the questions. Anything that I can't answer there, you can always shoot an email to us and we'll try to answer as many questions after the live session as possible. Okay, folks, see you this coming Sunday.